43 years ago, I sat in your same seats. Today, I join you all in moving on to the next chapter of your life, and it is an honor and a privilege to be your faculty speaker. While my role here was a teacher and a coach, I truly feel I have learned as much from you students as I have taught you. I now know the whip, the nene, the dab. I can navigate the emojis on my phone. Thank you. All jokes aside, you have kept me young. I admire the tolerance, compassion, creativity, and bravery of your generation. You are risk takers. You are dreamers. You are above all people who care for one another. There is still undoubtedly work to be done. We can all be kinder to one another. We can all be more open-minded. And we can all remember more often to put others before ourselves. But I want to commend you because I truly believe your generation is going to turn the world around. You are the future leaders of the world. You're the future teachers of the next generation. The future doctors, lawyers, artists, politicians, and entrepreneurs that will shape the world we live in. Every day you have decisions to make. Some days these decisions are bigger than others. No one decision will make or break you, but the sum of your decisions will determine the life you live. Will you decide to live a life of integrity, doing the right thing, even when no one's around to see it? Will you decide to be a leader, following your own convictions and morals, and not succumbing to peer pressure? Will you decide to empathize with those who have less than you, and remember how fortunate we all are. Now, you are not always going to make the right decision, but if you make each decision, keeping your values and goals in mind, you will find yourself living a more fulfilling life. However, even if you make the right decision most of the time, you will inevitably encounter failure in your life. Walt Disney was fired by a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. Think about that. J.K. Rowling's book about a boy wizard was rejected by 12 publishers before a small London house picked up Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Thomas Edison had 1,000 failed inventions before he invented the light bulb. If he had quit after the 1,000th one, it is certain you would not be graduating today from Edison High School. <laughs> I myself have lost over 100 football games in my coaching career, and I have failed at many endeavors in my life. I always have believed that if you never fail at anything, you have not set your goals high enough. Embrace failure, learn from your mistakes, and don't get discouraged when life doesn't go your way. Each failure is a step closer to success if and only if you treat each time you fail as an opportunity to grow as a person and become more resilient. One of my favorite quotes is from Winston Churchill, who famously said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Don't be satisfied with your successes and, and find the courage to continue after your failures. Let your failures be the fuel that drives you towards your goals. Never stop learning. No matter your age or where you are in your life, you should never stop learning. Become educated in the field you are passionate about. Whether that means going to college or a vocational school or serving your country in the military, never stop learning. Knowledge is key to success. School might not be your thing, and that is fine, but educating yourself must be your thing. Growing as a person must be your thing. Challenging your beliefs and gaining perspective must be your thing. Follow your dreams, find your passion, and live life with no regrets. In my life, I found teaching young people was what I was most passionate about. I woke, every, I woke up every day excited about the opportunity to make a difference in a young person's life. It was incredibly fulfilling when a student of mine had a moment of realization on a math concept, or a player of mine overcoming adversity to find success on the field. So I implore you to find your own passion. Don't allow your vision to be clouded by the pursuit of fortune. Focus on finding a job that you are excited about every day when you wake up. If you do this, you will never really work a day in your life. 
The greatest job I have ever had is being a father and a husband. If in your own lives you are a great father, mother, husband or wife, you will have an amazing life, trust me. Put family first and don't forget those who helped you on the road to success. Principal Graves asked me the other day, what am I going to miss when I retire? We both got a little choked up. I said everything. I'm going to miss the parents who support academics and athletics with integrity and class. I'm going to miss my distinguished colleagues who always go the extra mile for these students. I am really going to miss you students who never stop amazing me with your academic prowess, your community service, your athletic abilities, and your great character. I am going to miss waking up every morning excited to go to school. Not work for me, but go to school. I am honored to retire from Edison High School with you all tonight. In parting, I want to remind you, stay true to yourself. Don't live anyone else's life but your own. And live it boldly with no regrets. You have all the tools you need to succeed. Good luck to you all. And again, congratulations to the fantastic class of 2017. I love you guys.